the mics to you, so let's go ahead and begin. Mark, what has stood out to you the most about Florida's receivers and, and just what you guys in the secondary are going to be going up against Saturday? Um, they're, uh, their receivers are, they have a really good receiving core. They have um, some guys that are really good with the yards after catch, um, guys that really run uh, really crisp routes and uh, know how to get separation and get open for the quarterback. Yeah, uh, Kirby was saying that Julian Humphrey's gotten a lot of work with the ones the past three or four weeks in practice. Just how have you seen him kind of attacking that opportunity and, and getting better working with that top unit on defense? Uh, Julian, he. He really cares about the game. You know, he tries to he tries to put his best foot forward every rep. Um, just trying to get better every rep every day. Just learning from the mistakes he made. You know, the play before, the day before, and trying to just capitalize on them. Trying not to make the same mistakes and just being, you know, the best he can for whatever role he has on our team. Yeah, what does Marcus Roseman Jackson bring to this team, and how have you seen him grow as a player as your, over your time here? Uh, so Rose, um, you know, when I first got here, Rose was one of the guys that you know I went head to head with. You know, since I've been here, so. We've been going at it for about three years now, and just seeing him, you know, grow. We we've grown against each other, just going up against each other. Um, you know, I just seen you know, him grow, battle a lot of injuries, uh, come back ten times better. Um, you know, he's a veteran on the offensive guy who knows the scheme very well, knows exactly what to do and how to do it. And then um, he has an elite ability, you know, to uh, run routes, get separation, catch the ball. So I mean, he brings a lot to our offense. Uh, you know, this, this is huge. I mean, Georgia, Florida has been a rivalry for as long as I can remember. I mean, at all age groups. I remember whenever I was in middle school, we played the Georgia, Florida game, and it was a big rivalry. So, I mean, this goes back all the way to them for me. So, I mean, uh, every year, you know, both teams, you know, this is, this is one of the games that are circled on each one of our schedules. You know, that means a lot to both teams. Carson going back to his hometown. Have you noticed any sort of different edge from him this week in focus in practice? Uh, you know, I think Carson brings that same mentality every week. Um, you know, he's always laser focused, you know, no matter the opponent. I mean, I know it definitely means a lot to him going back to his hometown, you know, playing against Florida. But, uh, you know, he, he definitely comes in with, the, with that, you know, laser focused mentality every game, no matter who the opponent. What's your assessment? It's like a scouting report on uh, Graham Mertz and kind of what he's brought a new element to that offense. Uh, so he's he's a very good quarterback, you know, um, very accurate, you know, a guy who takes care of the ball very well. Uh, he he runs the offense very well. Um, I would say, you know, he's very uh, like I said, very accurate with his throws, and uh, he makes the right decisions a lot of times. He's um, got a really high completion rate, so uh, it's gonna be a great game. You know, you have guys like Dalen and, and Julian who are getting more and more playing time. How do you as a veteran sort of help keep their confidence high, you know, knowing that they're going to give up some plays from time to time? Uh, just really, just really um, emphasize the next play mentality. You know, we all make mistakes. Uh, it's just really about you know, how you respond, you know, whenever you give up a play. Because, you know, you never really, you never go into a play saying, oh, I'm just going to give this play up. You know? So just really just having a, a response to the next play mentality, that's the biggest thing that, you know, we all have to work on. How much do you pride yourself on your tackling ability and willingness to do Um, That's something that, uh, you know, when I first started playing football uh, for the Savannah Stars, that was something that, you know, they, they instilled in me at a young age. So, you know, I've always just liked being physical. Uh, I used to get kicked out of, like, kicked out of recess with, you know, tackling too hard. So, <laughs> <laughs> things like that, that's just always been a part of me. Yeah, given you guys didn't have a game last week, and I'm sure you've heard so much about what this team's going to look like without Brock, what is your and this defensive excitement level to get out there and actually go play a game right now? Uh, you know, coming off a bye, it's, it's really good for you, you know, for uh, mental mistakes and for your bodies and, you know, get a rest from recovery. But, you know, we, we just love playing football, you know. So uh, every week I look forward to playing a game. So it's kind of it kind of bums me out whenever we don't have a game. So just being able to go back out there in an the atmosphere like this, you know, 50 50 uh, in Jacksonville against a big SEC opponent, it doesn't get much better. What did you do in your off week? Did you, uh, did you go home or did you do anything special? Uh, I just went home and visited the fam, you know, um, just spent some quality quality time with my family and uh, just uh, just went back to my roots, basically. Did you guys see your old team? Mm -hmm. Any other questions? 
Appreciate you. All right, thank you. Thanks, Thanks Mari. Mari.